Hello everyone. In this set of video tutorial, we are going to look at uh, the options like run macros and break which is pause and reset and the design mode. Uh, earlier in the video series, we have looked at uh, what this VBA project is all about and what are the associated properties. So uh, let's let's go around and look at what this run macro is all about. So for doing that, I'll just double click on sheet 1A and uh, the function which we had written earlier which we didn't had anything is sub a and a bracket open and a close so let's try to write some basic code here and probably this is the first time that you may be writing up so uh, I'll, I'll keep it very simple uh, so say for example in this cell a1 this is basically cell 1 comma 1 so I'll, I'll write this as cells basic row index 1 column index is 1 so this is referring to this num cell 1 comma 1 and uh, I'll just put some uh, language here equal to let's say this is cells 1 comma 1 plus uh, 1000 and uh, this is basically your code so uh, I've just written a simple code whatever was the earlier number just add 1000 to that earlier number so uh, let's see what happens when we run the code so basically it's nothing but run button is used to run the code so if I run it once uh, can you see on the screen here on uh, cell 1 comma 1 which is a1 you you will find that this is now updated for the value as 1000 so if I run it twice it will keep on updating the cell so basically this means that you're running a macro okay this is all about run function so what about the break function uh, say you know you are uh, having a series of long codes uh, a larger part of the macros and uh, here probably it is very difficult for us to kind of break or pause think of uh, pause as something like um, a DVD player where you can uh, pause and uh, and play your uh, DVD uh, so likewise you can also pause your macro and restart from where you have stopped so uh, buttons always you know about that as such about uh, the reset I'll, I'll just come in a moment about reset but uh, let's let's discuss about what design mode is all about okay so uh, for looking at this design mode I'll actually take you to uh, our Excel sheet which we have it here and uh, this is the design mode and uh, to turn it on we basically need to click on it okay so this is the design mode okay and I'll discuss the design mode in the context of the control features which we have so um, there are actually you know two features uh, if, if you are aware of how Excel actually works they're divided into two parts form controls and active X controls the form controls are basically the buttons of the form controls where uh, uh, you can assign macros to and Active X controls are basically those uh, similar controls which are in the is invisible layer, or you can uh, think of this as a drawing board, and uh, you know you can change those properties by uh, by looking at uh, different color combinations, change fonts, etc. Probably I I may be sounding a bit confusing here. Let me just give you an example. This is basically nothing but a form control. So I've just designed a button which is form control button, and from the insert I'm also taking this active X control button so let me also take this this is nothing but active X control button okay now what I was trying to highlight is that this command button is set on an invisible layer or you can call this as a drawing board and you can change this board I mean you can change the properties of the board so let, let me uh, see what happens when we right click on this button the moment I right click there is a format control and uh, once I, I click on that there are various options which are available so what can I actually format here I can change the format of uh, the fonts so maybe from uh, uh, black I may want to change it to red uh, alignment I can change it uh, change the size I can change the protection there are certain properties margins uh, etc I can I can change that so as you can see you know I have limited options of uh, controls here however when I look at ActiveX control which is in the invisible layer uh, I'll just do a right click and uh, you can see this is a properties window here uh, 
So what happens when we see this property of windows? Uh, I guess this is sounds or this looks recognizable. We had earlier looked at properties where uh, this was a similar button which we found. So we can change the back color. Say for example, I want this to be let's say blue color or maybe you know I want this to be in yellow color so you can change these button colors you can change the style and um, you know height width font etc so you can do a lot of things here so you can see that we can change a lot of properties uh, here when uh, we are in the design mode but let's say if we get out of the design mode uh, then you will not be able to change anything here. So it, it acts as a regular button where you know certain activities or functions can be associated with. One very important uh, aspect of ActiveX control is that uh, the macro or the code can also get attached to the specific control button. So uh, let's say if uh, if I choose this and double click on it. So uh, see what happens. The moment I double click, uh, it actually takes me to the VB environment. And uh, you know, you'll find this as it, it creates a function which says private sub command button one click. So this is command button one, and it says that okay, click it, and it asks me to actually write a code. Uh, so that's an advantage here. So let let me kind of uh, associate some uh, uh, function. So since we have already written a subroutine here, if I want to call this, if I want to execute this subroutine, I will just write this as call a. So this would mean it will execute the subroutine called as a, and uh, and probably you know I will just come out of the design mode. For this, I will click here and uh, you can see that now you can run this not only from here but you may see the same result uh, from the command button so let me uh, try this here in the excel sheet and uh, if i click here i'm expecting that this 5000 should move to 6000 because my vb environment or this command click will actually call this function a and this function a will increment it this number by thousand so let's see if this happens or not so if, um, the moment i click it it increases so uh, please note again that if you are in the design mode then you even after you click it there will be no change so in order to execute uh, the code behind that uh, uh, button you will have to come out of the design mode and then click it so this is how basically uh, these commands actually function and ActiveX control is pretty valuable and useful in this context. So uh, another thing I guess uh, which we missed was regarding the reset. Reset is nothing but uh, you know you may want to come out of these subroutines. So uh, uh, maybe there was a debug error or you know uh, there was some function which you were doing. You had many pauses in between or you want you were doing something in the codes and you want to get out of that code. Uh, you can actually reset and come out of that whole activity which you were looking at. So this is how you know we, we kind of uh, treat the design mode, the reset mode, the break mode and the run mode. So pretty useful functions which we will be anyways using when we will be looking at our codes going forward.